Port's a pretty special place. It's, um, it's a fair bit different to Port Phillip Bay, partly because it's got two giant islands in the middle of it, uh, Trench Island and Phillip Island. It's got a very large tidal range, so when the tide goes out here, it exposes huge areas of, of mudflats, and um, that's one of the really important habitats that our Western Port's known for. Spartina anglica, and its common name is common cord grass. It's a grass species of estuarine environments, and it occurs predominantly within the intertidal zone. It initially starts off as a small tussock, and over time it grows radially, so it's, it's rhizomatous, it's got underground stems that grow outwards. So these plants grow into a big tussock, and when you get large infestations, they, they rapidly grow together to sort of form a, a, a dense sward with pretty much 100% cover, and that excludes all other plant species. People might ask, why is Melbourne Water flying around in a helicopter to manage this weed? And we've got quite a few obligations that also come under that. So we've got Ramsar obligations and also EPBC Act, so that's Environmentally Protected Species. What we're really trying to do is protect the intertidal flats and um, the habitat that that provides for shoreline bird species, but also um, the native vegetation that's there. Spartina colonises bare mud flats, which are important habitat for a range of faunal species. So for fish, you know, breeding and for uh, wader birds and some migratory species. So it then uh, disrupts their food webs. And I mean, this can have flow on effects ecologically and even commercially. The mud flats are really important for the, for the wading birds. They, they get out there when the tides are low and poke around and, and get the food that they need. Spartina really invades those intertidal habitats. One of the main reasons we want to get rid of it is it because it's, it, it occupies space that is important for those, for those species and you know, the, the fundamental reasons why it's such an important international wetland. I'm the project manager. I'm involved with the Spartina control uh, in Western Port Bay with Melbourne Water. My role is to deliver the on-ground works, uh, which is the aerial spraying and the ground spraying. So the aerial spraying involves uh, the helicopter. Uh, the helicopter's basically got a 200 litre chemical tank on it, which delivers the chemical to the Spartina through a snorkel. So the snorkel is a long eight metre pipe that runs off the helicopter, and then it's got a funnel at the bottom, which directly targets the chemical, and it delivers larger droplet sizes, so that it eliminates the spray drift for overspray on off-target spray. We work with the tides and the weather, of course, so we can't have wind speed above 18 kilometres an hour. We do the ground spraying, uh, generally following up probably about four weeks after the aerial spraying to see what we can control, what the helicopter's basically missed. Uh, the ground spraying involves knapsack use on foot and then we also do uh, boat spraying from a canoe. When it comes to the success of this project, we really are going to rely on the landholders and that includes the private and the public landholders. Like we, we want to work together with them so that we can get the ultimate goal of this project, which is eradication. That means keeping communication up with them, talking to them, getting them involved with monitoring um, and just an overall understanding of what it is we're trying to do. But it's also important because we're going to be there for a long time and we intend to be doing this for the next 10 years until we can really hit that eradication level.